Hi, I'm Calvin Roberts, I'm the Lakota boy and today I'm with the Ministry of Armenian Affairs and we're located at Thomas and Formula Street. Yeah. So what are we displaying are some of the products that you can actually find at the Ministry office. Yeah. So we have the indigenous wine which is the Sky Wari. Yeah. We have the wine glass that is made from coconut. We have the Kalibash which we usually eat from. Yeah. And of course we have some products. products. We have the cream and the oil. And definitely what I'm wearing here tonight, today, is the headdress that is too short. We usually wear a beautiful necklace and of course a skirt. All of these items can be found down at the Ministry of Armenian Affairs, Thomas and Thomas. Thanks a lot, okay? You're welcome. Yeah, man. We're having the cassava bread custard. Yeah. Cassava bread custard. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. give me a small piece of Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same issue. Okay, so I'm trying the cassava really bread right? custard, no? Yeah, this is vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And you don't mix it up with like cheese. It's good. And you can put it on a pesto. So the cassava bread custard tastes nice. Um, this is cassava bread pizza. Cassava bread pizza. So could you tell me a little bit more about how you made it? You have to toast the cassava bread. Yeah. And the thing is, is that you need good cassava bread. So the only place you can get it is in Guyana. Okay. All right. right. So this is a Guyanese dish. Guyanese. That we've just reinvented the cassava bread. Cassava. Right. I'm French trained, and when I came to this country, yeah. I came back to this country because I was born here. Yeah. I couldn't believe the ingredients that they have here. And Guyanese barely know how to use them, like the potential of this. And this is only the first of the first of our of like our ventures of what we're gonna do. I've got about a hundred of these recipes using things and just turning them over. Because I wanna make proper Guyanese food. So where, popular. Where can persons come to try out some of these? No no popular? probably the Hard Rock Cafe. I think Hard Rock I, Cafe or some other place. I think there, there are going to be different cafes that we're going to sell the recipe to that um, that will be able to do this for you. Oh, so but we are just the purveyors. We got a TV program, we got four tours that we need to do, we got a television show, and that's what we do. But we just want to make sure that we get to people and tell Guyanese that they have an amazing cuisine and stop eating scrap. Alright, well I'll get to have a taste of it now and I'll see. Yeah, you get a chance to taste it. Just let me take these ones out. You wanna try one? Yeah, let me try one. Alright, thank you. So this is the cassava bread pizza. I'm about to give it a try. So this is it right here. It's delicious, man. What kind of cheese do they use for it? Um, mozzarella and, and parmesan. Mozzarella and parmesan. Well, cheddar would work just as well. Okay. You don't, you don't need anything else other than that. But it's a simple dish. But we're gonna be making cheese here. We know of someone. Not gonna mention his name, but they've been making cheese here. And then everything will be indigenous. This will be, because the thing is, the basic this, you can't get good cassava bread outside the yard. Right? The best ones are right here. Right, right here. So to enjoy this dish. You gotta come to Ghana. I get 100%. I had um, rice and um, parmesan. Yeah, it's free, and now we have the Guinness. Which one are you doing? Uh, Sorry, um, Guinness. With the parmesan one thing? Yeah, parmesan uh, rice. And we got um, waffle, but it's made with um, plant and flour. Nice. Yes, let's mix it. It's this, it's this one. Yeah. Oh. So I'm trying the waffles made with plantain flour. I'm going to see how it is. No, I'm just asking what you're doing and where I can find it because she said it's all on time now. The waffle is delicious. Like, I'd have this like as a chips it's made with plantain flour. And they have salsa and top Oh, you mean from where she said bring a salsa? I didn't realize it's all this coming. Now, what are you giving out chocolate samples here? Um, yeah. We're a new company, Ibi Sawada Natural Foods. Yeah. We specialize in doing mainly dehydrated foods, fruits, herbs, and spices, and yeah. chocolate, dark chocolate. Oh. 
Um, so we have a wide range of chocolate from 60 to 87% to dark mm -hmm. and we also have a drinking chocolate that you just have to add to your hot milk sweetener and you have a nice hot cup of chocolate to go. Nice. Uh, could I want to try a piece of the dark chocolate? Yeah, no problem. So here we have a 70%. 70%. So this is a 70% dark. Alright, so this is 70% dark chocolate so made right blooming, here in Guyana. Some blooming occurred. Yeah. So it's not a perfect, perfect bar because of the extreme heat. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's still good chocolate. Wow, it's good. It is tasty. It kind of has like a bitter taste to it, but you said that full blue. What is that? Some bloom in a part here. Yeah, yeah, but it's good chocolate, man. Good chocolate. So I get a nocturne. But... Chris. Uh, Chris from Nocturne. From Dabby's. From Dabby's. Yes. All right. We're the, the sole representative for NZ and Milk Powder here in Guyana. Yeah. That's the bag milk that we have and the AMF as well. Okay. Those are the ingredients that we that, that companies use to manufacture. For example, the AMF they use for the ice cream. Yeah. And the milk powder they use right here locally. We repackage it yeah. on our brand, Natura, is yeah. our brand. This is our trail, our trail blazing product. Yeah. Right, the Natura milk powder. We have it in three different sizes for the full cream, the 200, 400 grams, and the 800 grams. Nice. And we also have the high and low, high and low milk powder, yeah. which is low in fat but high in proteins, calcium. We have this in two sizes, the 200 gram and this is the 400 gram size. Nice. Now these, we're in business for like about, the Natura brand, for like about 10 years. Nice. The brand and brand itself. Nice. Yes. So we have our other stuff that we're now, we're now preparing to launch. Yeah. Which would be our line of rice flakes, cassava, cassava flour, yeah. black pepper. Yeah. Just just for comparison, these are the imported ones. Okay. Right? This is also the farine. Yeah. Um, corn flakes, the flakes, the planted flour, yeah. and the ground coffee. Nice. So these are these we are now preparing to launch. Right at the artifice here. Okay, because I, I, I recognize these when I came in. They, they, the milk powder. Yeah, I didn't realize that to me. These are, yeah, well, we're now launching this. This is just now launching. Just now launching, right here. You, you see it in so here I first. I've seen this for the first time. <laughs> right. Yeah, right here. Yes. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the, uh, the Agrofest so far. Yeah. And we'll, we'll all, uh, as far as I know, we'll also be in the Agro. The Agrofest in Barbados. We will be there next week. That's good. Yes. So all the Bayesians watching, look out for them. Yes. Thanks so much, man. Yeah. My name is Ria. Ria, nice. Okay. Could you tell me about um, the products you have here today? Um, we have desiccated coconut. This yeah. can be used for cooking. Uh, baking pastries like mm. making cake and so on. Yeah. Uh, this is what it looks like. Nice. Uh, we also have the refined coconut cooking oil. This is oil. made from the coconut white. Meat, yes. okay. uh, we have the refined coconut cooking oil. Yeah. This can be used for cooking and deep frying. Nice. We also have the coconut flour, but and it can be used for baking uh, pastries, mm. making roti buns. But you have to mix it with normal white. Oh. It's, and it's gluten free. Nice, we also yeah. have the virgin coconut oil, which is good for your hair and your skin. Yeah. And we also have the coconut chips. Nice. Yeah, this is delicious. <laughs> and what's the price you normally sell the chips for? $1.40 a pack. $1.40 a pack. And this? the coconut and oil? Coconut chips. Coconut chips. And and the oil is $1,000 a bottle. $1,000 a bottle. Okay. Um, you have the coconut flour for $300. You can get two for five. Yeah. You have the uh, refined coconut oil. Yeah. $600 a bottle. And nice. desiccated coconut, $500. Are these products available in Guyanese stores? or? Yes, we have it in GMC, Go Local. 
go Vincent on the market and Yeah, I think so we, we met already. Yeah, so um, we met at the Umanayana before, mm, right? Yeah. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about it. So we are a manufacturer of ground spices yeah. and seasoning mixes. So we are now introducing our uh, new product line which would consist of all the spices from A to Z. Mm. So you can find all spice by us, you can find uh, rosemary, you can find parsley, you can find zata. Everything from A to Z, all the spices. And you're available in supermarkets here, right? Yes, we're available in most of the supermarkets in Guyana and in most of the regions. Some more season to use yeah, in the videos and you guys will show you soon. This is um, our company called Works Industrial Park Inc. Yeah. This is our product. We have this. Yeah. And we do bottles. We manufacture the bottles. Some of the plastic products we do. Food box. Yeah. And um, some of the jars we do in plastic. These are our products. We do bottles. We do plastic bags. And um, we do packaging. What we don't make, we import. Okay, do you guys do biodegradable products or...? Some of them, some, some of, of them are. Oh. So this is one of them. We have this, we have this. Um, so she have nice box food, yes. biodegradable. Yeah. Some of them are, we are stepping there. That is the way to go right now. Good. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you, ma'am. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so make so sure you try your water. It's I'm the best. gonna try it now, I see. <laughs> And it's the best to drink when it's hot. That's how I normally drink the water. So try it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, it tastes good. Yeah, it's refreshing. It's good water. Yeah, so I recommend it. Blue Spring Water. Good water. My name is Sadesh Ramdeen. I'm the LPG sales executive. Yeah. So we are Sol. Sol is the leading um, supplier of petroleum products in the region. Mm -hmm. We have um, we have LPG. We have lubricants. We have gasoline, diesel. We deal with aviation as well. That's just a few to to mention. Um, basically, today we're here to show the public what we are. Give them information as to what we are. Um, we have a promotion on the 100 pound. This is cooking gas that we do. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Right? This is salt gas. This is the blue cylinder. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's 50% of the cylinder. So, for all your gas needs, you can contact us. Uh, 608 8758. That's it in a nutshell about us. We are the leading supplier of mobile lubricants as well. Uh, yeah. It's very much, you know, alive and going well for us. And this is just a replica of some of the equipments that use our product. We had more but some some small kids come and you know yeah. go in our can okay, yes we distribute some to them. Yeah, I would expect <laughs> Yeah. And the wider Caribbean. We have been in the business for over 20 years. Okay. And we have two locations in Guyana. Our market location is our head office. That's at the East Bank of Navarro. We also have our Providence location, which is actually undergoing a massive multi million US dollar expansion project. Wow. So by the end of this year, you would see there we have fully automated holding facility, um, a state of the art. Yeah. Right, so we are a self-sufficient business, meaning we have our own trawlers and boats, we catch our own blood, we process in our plants, we also maintenance and everything is done in-house and we export as well as sell to local customers. For carby. Carby rice. Right? Okay. So in addition to carby rice, yeah. we have some other stuff that we do as well, which is manufacturing. Ah, there's stuff in the back there. Oh, okay. Food boxes, clear boxes, plastic boxes. Oh, so you guys made yeah. these boxes? I didn't know that. And plastic top. bottle, plate, fork, knife, spoon, eh? everything. So are Even these um, biodegradable? Or? Only the plastic bottles are biodegradable, but in two months' time, all of this here will be biodegradable. Oh, okay. like good, good. This is the raw materials that we use. Mm -hmm. This is some recycled cork. 
This is recycled party pots. This yeah. is recycled um, food boxes. Yeah. And this is plastic in its raw form. It's called oh. resin. Resin. Yeah. I think this is the first time I see it. Yeah. Resin. So this is what we import. Oh, okay. We import this here. We have the machinery and we pass it through heat mm -hmm. and different methods and to do something. Okay. Uh, and even even the bag that the caravan is in. Yeah. We manage that. Nice. Umami. Umami. Japanese, yeah. Umami, a Japanese word. Yeah. Means pleasant taste. Pleasant taste. taste. Okay. And it's a local company. Nice. So what products you guys have on offer? Um, sauces. Condiments and sauces. Yeah. Nice. Pepper sauce, ketchup, green seasoning. Yeah. Barbecue sauce. As you can see, we got a variety of sauces here. We're from Taco. Yeah. We have Rarity Limited. Yeah, I love this their our, juices. So. Yes, yeah, so our range of products. We are most famous for the juices. Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite. Right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> fruit mix, which yeah. is used in cakes, um, buns, black cake, the fruit cake, right? And we will soon be relaunching our jams and jellies. Oh, okay. Right? You can see the range of flavors that we have for the juices, mm. but for the milk we have the chocolate and the full cream and the vanilla which are the flavored ones and the full cream and the low fat. Oh, okay. right range of them. Well, you're available in supermarkets all across. All across the world. So what's your name? Of? Francesca. Mm -hmm. And you're from Caribbean Chemicals and Wiken Ranch. Okay, tell me about your setup that you have here today. This is Caribbean Chemicals booth. Yeah. And we are a major input supplier for farmers in in Guyana and the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. In Trinidad, we are over 50 years old, and in Guyana, we're over 30 years old. Nice. So we sell inputs like fertilizer. <laughs> Drip irrigation tubes, yeah. seedling mix, seeds, so the watermelon that you see here, yeah. that's seeds that we have, uh, introduced, we have introduced to the market. This is our Sun Bayo watermelon seed. Very good. It's a sweet, juicy watermelon. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Uh, it's sweeter than the traditional watermelon. Yeah, but you can understand. Right. Mm. How is that? It's good. <laughs> it's delicious, man. It is. It's very, Sorry. It's very sweet, very juicy. Yeah. And it's actually um, it's appealing to a lot of restaurants and hotels. Yeah. And we're hoping that it catches on, and that our our farmers will be supported. There's a farmer selling these watermelons here. And it's it's this exhibition has allowed them great exposure. So they could not they have been selling a lot of these yellow watermelons as a result. So we're very proud that he's gaining some success. Yeah, it's delicious man. It's just the colour. Yes. But imagine it if you mix it with the red one, you know, it's yeah. colorful. And, yep. yeah. You know, you could see where you could see where the, that you know attraction would come. Yeah, from. With like a nice um, presentation. Yes, for garnishing. Nice blend. Yeah, blend mm. color. Mixologists love it. This is um, another hybrid tomato. You could feel the weight of it. Feel very solid. Very solid. Very dense. It's great for like hamburgers and. Yeah, cause just one slice could cover like the whole bun. That's right. That's right. Mm. So it's. We, I so, think we pride so, ourselves on bringing non-traditional um, seeds for crops. This is all us as well. We sell shade netting and, and um, chainsaw brush cutters and stuff. Nice, nice. Um, I just met another of my viewers, I'm Robin Nari. Hello. Yes. Hello to all the Jamaicans. Wagwan. Here's my daughter as well. She'd like to say something. What's your name? I'm I'm Rita. Rita, okay. Nice to meet you guys both. Okay and nice to meet you. thanks for your support and keep up. I will. Take uh, care. Yeah.